Kuala Lumpur, the vibrant capital of Malaysia, has experienced a profound metamorphosis over recent decades. From its origins as a modest mining town in the 1800s, it has evolved into a bustling metropolis, a thriving cultural hub, and a testament to rapid growth and development. One of the most striking transformations in this city is the proliferation of awe-inspiring skyscrapers that not only redefine the city's skyline but also symbolize Malaysia's ascent on the global stage. The Kuala Lumpur skyline, characterized by its iconic skyscrapers, has become synonymous with progress, innovation, and ambition. Among these architectural marvels, the Petronas Twin Towers, completed in 1998, once stood as the world's tallest buildings, representing the pinnacle of Kuala Lumpur's skyscraper boom. They remain a symbol of Malaysia's architectural excellence and have left an indelible mark on the city. Not far from the Twin Towers, the Kuala Lumpur Tower, known as Manara KL, not only serves as a vital telecommunications hub but also offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city. This iconic structure has become a beloved tourist attraction, adding to the city's allure and offering visitors a unique perspective on Kuala Lumpur's urban landscape. However, amidst the towering giants of Kuala Lumpur's skyline, a new star is ascending, Merdeka 118. This architectural marvel is poised to become the second tallest building in the world, a structure that redefines the city's skyline and reinforces Malaysia's global presence. Standing at a towering height of 678.9 meters, 2,227 feet, Merdeka 118 serves as a testament to human engineering and architectural prowess. Named after the historic Merdeka, which translates to independence in Malay, this skyscraper's design carries immense significance in Malaysian history. It pays homage to the iconic moment when Tunku Abdul Rahman raised his hand and fervently chanted Merdeka, marking the proclamation of Malaysia's independence on August 31, 1957, at Stadium Merdeka. The design of Merdeka 118, with its silhouette mirroring Tunku Abdul Rahman's iconic gesture, beautifully encapsulates the essence of freedom and progress. What sets Merdeka 118 apart is not only its towering height, but also its meticulous design. It seamlessly blends modernity with meaningful cultural symbolism. The exterior of the building features intricate triangular glass panels inspired by patterns commonly seen in traditional Malaysian arts and crafts. This distinctive design not only pays homage to Malaysia's vibrant cultural heritage, but also serves as a symbol of the nation's diverse population. The brilliant minds behind this architectural marvel are the talented architects from Fender Katsalidis, a renowned Melbourne-based firm celebrated for their innovative creations, including the iconic Eureka Tower in Melbourne. Murtica 118 stands tall in Kuala Lumpur as not just a remarkable skyscraper, but also a versatile mixed-use development designed to cater to a multitude of needs and purposes. More than just a towering skyscraper, Merdeka 118 is a multifaceted destination for everyone. Spanning approximately 3.1 million square feet of floor space, it promises to be a vibrant hub for various activities. At its core, Merdeka 118 offers top-grade office spaces spanning an impressive 83 floors from levels 8 to 96, with 1.7 million square feet dedicated to these spaces. This makes it a prestigious address for businesses and organizations, fostering a dynamic environment for productivity and innovation. Adding a touch of luxury to the tower is the 17-story Park Hyatt Hotel, a first of its kind in Malaysia. Nestled from levels 98 to 112, this world-class hotel boasts 252 guest rooms, promising guests an opulent stay and exceptional hospitality services. For shopping enthusiasts, the 118 Mall awaits, a seven-story shopping center set to open its doors in 2024. This retail paradise will offer a diverse array of shopping and dining experiences, creating a lively destination for both residents and visitors. One of the most exciting features of Merdeka 118 is the view at 118, an observation deck that ranks among the highest in Southeast Asia. Situated on levels 115, 116, and a mezzanine floor within level 116, this deck provides a breathtaking 360-degree view of Kuala Lumpur's urban landscape. Visitors will have the unique opportunity to witness the city from unparalleled heights, making it a must-visit attraction. To ensure convenience and accessibility, 
The tower also boasts six levels of underground parking, accommodating around 8,100 parking spaces. This thoughtful provision minimizes congestion in the surrounding areas, making it hassle-free for both visitors and tenants to access this incredible destination. Merdeka 118 is not only about grandeur, but also about sustainability. It is on track to become the first tower in Malaysia to attain a triple green platinum rating from international sustainability certifications. This commitment to sustainability is attracting the attention of international companies seeking environmentally responsible and socially conscious buildings. Merdeka 118 is poised to become more than just a financial hub. It will encapsulate Malaysia's heritage, culture, and sustainability features, setting a benchmark for environmentally conscious buildings in the city. Merdeka 118 promises not only to redefine Kuala Lumpur's skyline, but also to serve as a symbol of Malaysia's commitment to progress and sustainability on the global stage. This remarkable endeavor will etch itself into the fabric of Malaysia's rich history and promising future. It's important to note that the construction of Merdeka 118, formerly known as Monera Waris, Merdeka KL 118, and PNB Wonder 18, is more than just an architectural feat. It is a testament to Malaysia's dedication to progress, innovation, and the preservation of its rich cultural heritage. The construction of Merdeka 118 started in February 2016, marking the beginning of an extraordinary engineering endeavor. It is being built on a site in the vicinity of the historic Merdeka Stadium in Jalan Hang Jabat, Kuala Lumpur, located about 100 meters north of the stadium. Stadium Merdeka, itself a historic landmark of Kuala Lumpur, is where the independence of the Federation of Malaya was formally declared. It was once the principal venue in Kuala Lumpur for celebrations and sports events. The stadium also hosted numerous major concerts, including two concerts of the History World Tour held by Michael Jackson in October 1996. These two sold-out concerts attracted a total of 110,000 people to watch on site. PNB, the Malaysian National Investment Authority, will occupy a significant portion of Merdeka 118, spanning 17 floors within the tower. This underscores the importance and prestige associated with the building. PNB holds ownership of Merdeka 118 through its wholly owned subsidiary, PNB Merdeka Ventures. Once PNB relocates from its current location in Manara PNB, Jalan Tun Razak, Maybank is expected to become the next anchor tenant, contributing to an impressive 70% occupancy rate. Additionally, Stadium Merdeka, which has been closed since 2016, is expected to reopen to the public in the first quarter of next year. Plans are also in motion for the renovation of the indoor stadium Nagara. Addressing concerns about potential traffic congestion in the vicinity of Jalan Hang Jabat, Tunku Dato A.A. Aziz reassured the public that ample public transportation options are available. The tower boasts its own Merdeka MRT station and provides easy access to the Plaza Rakyat and Hang Tua LRT stations, as well as the Maharajalela and Hang Tua monorail stops. Furthermore, measures will be taken to optimize traffic flow once the skyscraper is fully operational. Merdeka 118 not only signifies grandeur, but also embodies sustainability and a commitment to environmentally conscious practices. As it nears completion, it promises to be more than just a skyscraper. It will be a testament to Malaysia's heritage, culture, and dedication to progress. With its impending completion, Merdeka 118 is set to leave an indelible mark on Kuala Lumpur's skyline and the world stage, representing Malaysia's aspirations and achievements. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your support.